Hello again, guys, and welcome back to Undertale. We are back, and I'm going to ruin that. I'm going to ruin that on the screen immediately. It's not on. Uh, right. We are back here. We're going to fight Undyne again. Uh, yes. That is it. Ah! Okay. This time, we are actually going to try... We're going to try and beat Undyne. Right. So, let's, uh, plead. Nothing happened. Oh. As long as you're green, you can't escape unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Do, do, do. Right. So basically, I'm, I'm going to plead as much as I can. Just to make sure attacks don't get too uh, rapid for me. Well, as you know, I'll try, I'll try and manage them as much as I can. Nothing is happening. I want to see. I'm going to try and get to the point where Undyne doesn't say anything anymore. Uh, right, stop suplexing boulders. It's not funny anymore. <laughs> I know you can, but still, it's not working. I I know you are not getting to the damn surface. I promise you that. It's not bouncing as well. I won't leave snatched away from us. I know. And I flips her spear impatiently. It's nothing happened. It's, it's not doing enough warming up. Oh god, that is tough. Oh, that is really tough. Generally, it is. Right. Thank you. Oh god, this is this one. Right, we did, we did okay there. Things of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Is, is that really what you do when you think of your friends? Just go, ah. Holy hell. Nothing is happening. But even if you could beat me, just it's just a run on sentence now. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground. Okay, stop stop pounding the ground. Oh, she remembers someone. Her attacks became a little less extreme. We're getting somewhere now. Well, I will make it past Asko. Believe that. Believe that. Don't believe that. Uh, anyway. Ah. Uh. Woohoo. Undyne flips the spear impatiently. Right. Oh, she's going to the dots again. <laughs> Stop suplexing boulders! So stop being so damn resilient. Ah, oh, that spear always gets me, I remember that one. Stop! Stop with the boulders, honestly. Think of the, think of the damn family. Humans are made out of bones, which you do, which you also appear to be made out of. So the question is, why aren't you as tough as I am? I mean, come on. Why? Let's keep doing this. And also, if you're dead by now, I know, but I'm not anyone else. Did a good job there. Don't smile at me, Undyne. I'm not having it. Alphys told me humans were determined. Oh god, the fucking reverse ones. I see now what she meant by that. Yes. We are awesome, aren't we? Right, I'm definitely going to have to have some ice cream. Because you look nice today. Why, thank you. You may be determined, but you ain't as determined as me. Oh god, I'm getting owned by those freaking arrows. Determine end this right now! You ain't ending this at all. Oh god, this is so tough! Don't, don't, don't tower. Don't, I promise. Right now! Oh god. Oh yes! Right, 
Right now! <laughs> Undyne is angry. Undyne is one angry motherfucker. Please, Undyne. Ha, ha! Wow, we nearly did it. We nearly did it. Ah, die already, you little brat! How about nah? I'm going to die here, aren't I? Oh! Oh, so close! I could have just died there. You're getting in my way! I was actually pretty much just nailed on to die there, to be honest with you. This ain't no prank. I will not be defeated! Trust me, you will. Oh, uh, I don't like this one. I don't like this one. Uh, I, 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 I thought I had more. I'd say the snowman piece. HP is maxed out, yes. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, it's going dot, dot, dot now. Which makes me think that this is the point where we have to do something. I'll do this one more time to plead to see if anything happens. A little less fierce. Yeah, okay. Yeah. By the looks of it, we need to do something here. Ah, oh, I hate this shit. So, let's try and challenge her. Again, it's just dot, dot, dot. Right. We'll try sparing her? No. That also did not work. Undyne, please stop this. Can we flee from her? Is that actually no? Is that always an option? Flee? I I'm out it. Oh, you can actually run away. Oh, oh God, run away! Ah! Stop running away! Undyne attacks. Ah, die already, you little brat! Oh, so I actually have to flee from her. That's actually what I have to do, apparently. Can I flee again? Escaped. Run away! Leg it! Welcome to... Uh, Hotland? Hotland? Ring? Hey! What's up? I was just thinking... You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. So Papyrus is going to be at Undyne's house. Come back here, you little punk! Can I, just, can I just run away immediately? I can't! I can just keep running away! Hurry up! Leave! Run! Sans! Sans! <laughs> Stay. Oh, what are you doing? What? What's cooler? What are you doing? Armor so hot, but I can't give up. Oh god, she's going to melt. Oh god! Undyne! She looks dry. Has she just melted? Water cooler. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Yes. Oh, I can splash it over her! Yes. Then she wakes up and suplexes a boulder on top of me. Just do. Oh, 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 God. Oh! Uh. Undyne? You alright? Oh. Well, okay then. I shall take another cup of water. I'm going to carry it with me. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. <laughs> Everything just evaporated. Uh, seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Gotcha. Right. I guess we can't go up here. They don't look too pleased with anything right now. A lab. Ooh. What's down here though? Is there anything else? Uh, death. Is that you? Tra la 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 la. I am the river man, or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Yes. Let's ride in the boat. Where will we go today? 
Oh, I can go from Snow Snowden on the waterfall. Oh, that's that's that's, that's quite good. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, is there? Does the guy sell ice cream in Snowden? I think he does, didn't he? Yeah, Snowden they have some, some ice cream. <laughs> Tra la 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 la. The waters are wild today. That's bad luck. Bad luck. Oh no. That's not a good sign. Come again sometime. Tra la 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 la. Hey. Has anything changed around here then? Can I actually come in? <laughs> Just do the same thing again with the knock. Ah. <laughs> Does that person actually sell ice cream here? That's, that's what I'm trying to remember now at this point. Or do I have to go inside Grillby's? I, I just forget. I don't know what's going on. Do I have anything inside here? No. Actually, the shop might sell something. Sh Hello. A bicycle and a cinnamon bun. I should buy two cinnamon buns. I do need some healing stuff, because if the battles are going to be as tough as Undyne, I'm going to be in trouble. But good old me, the pacifist, we helped Undyne out. Because despite how much she called us a punk, suplex boulders towards uh, in our general direction, and was generally quite mean, we're, we're a good person. Tra la la la, care for a ride? Ride in the boat? Yes. Where will we go today? Hotland. Hotland bling. Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing? Tra la 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 la, Temi Village. The room before the Darkening Lantern Room. Pardon me? Temi Village, the room before the Darkening Lantern Room. Oh, that's, prob that's probably just time to tell me where Temi Village is, to be honest. Probably. I guess we go in the lab now. <laughs> See what's happening in here. Oh god, is, is this a spotlight? Oh god, there's a camera on me. Uh, oh. It's you? Who's watching me? It's too dark to see near the walls. It's too dark to see near the walls. We need a light switch of some sort. Ah! 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 Oh my god! I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm badly. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy. And. Um. Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. Oh, it's Alphys. I'm Asko's Royal Scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a, someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asko's castle, no problem. Well, actually, uh, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. I know. What? Like Bender. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, uh, anti- anti-human combat features. You dick! Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, uh, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? Uh, heh. But, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Oh god, he's here right now, isn't he? Uh? Oh, no god. Did you hear something? Oh! Oh, 
Oh no. Oh yes! Welcome beauties! So today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show! <laughs> what is this? Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestants! Never played before, gorgeous! No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly... Or you die! Oh Jesus! Meriton, what the hell are you doing? cry. Screaming is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Mercy. Hi, you wish wrong. Chris Show continues. Oh, more questions, I guess. Screaming is against the rules. He's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? It's Law. It's Ask Our Dreamer. Correct, what a terrific answer. Lord Fluffy wants to like his nickname. Uh, oh, I need to use my knowledge. Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Metal and magic? Too easy for you, huh? <laughs> Look, Alpha, she's like, yeah, good job. Screaming against the rules, I don't care. Here's another easy one for you. Uh, how the hell did I get that right? That was a guess. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Oh, you are shitting me. You are absolutely shitting me. 55. Oh. Why? I, 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 I need a cinnamon. The cinnamon bunny. Oh, it's a cinnamon bunny? Oh. Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? That is, uh, Froggus. Are you taking the piss? <laughs> well, can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? You've got to be kidding me. Wait, the time's counting up. There must be like a way out of this. Probably. Let's get to a hundred. No, it's it's not taking anything. Heck yeah. Grand I love it. Oh well. Here's a simple one. Oh, this is gonna be. T How many letters in the name Metaton? Ah! What are you doing? Oh my god. This is, this is ridiculous, Cinnabon. Time to break out the big guns. In the day simulation video game... Oh, oh, I know this one. It's stale ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends with stale flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? The time is now not actually moving at all. She has a, he has a crush on... The human. Seriously? My, my, how conceited can you get? I love it. And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch on her... I've seen her watch you on, on her computer screen. Smiling when you succeed. Shrieking when you fail. And always, always whispering. No, wrong, you have to go that way. In its own way, is this not love? Well, 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 with Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Don't tell her next time, darlings. And off, sh and off he flies. That was incredible. Well, that was certainly something.
Yeah. I used all my health things for that. Wait, wait, wait. What? Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! Wait a second. Please. Did, did you just cut up a human to make that phone? It can do texting items. Uh, it's items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now officially friends! Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> so, do I- I now have an upgraded phone. Oh, look at this. Dimension- Papyrus! A lab? My brother would love that. He loves science fiction, especially when it's real. Chase Papyrus. Toriel. Oh. Dimensional Box A. Oh, I can actually manage items with this now. That's nice. Oh, oh, there's some nice cream in the box. I'll take that, thank you. And a bandage. Everything else I'll leave out, though. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Of course. You got the instant noodles. It's a half-empty bag of dog food. Of course it is. It's a beat-up figurine of female human with cat ears. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Seems like they noticed something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... The garbage can, but it's pretty cute. It's a cute garbage can. Absolutely. Uh, hello? The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. It's a bathroom sign. Alvis! Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Gonna go up here. Scientific books, they seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. It's close enough. VHS and DVDs of various cartoons, they're all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. Two, two scantily clad chiefs, uh, ch chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate, no. <sighs> what about this one? You look inside a book, it's a comic book. A hideous android is running into school with toast in his mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. It does look a bit weird. Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats, and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo, they're all unopened. It's a lamp. Incredible invention. We're not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. I always wanted one of those. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Ah, oh, Metaton. Fuck you. So where did Alphys go then? He's not in the bathroom. She's not in the bathroom anymore, I should say. I thought, I thought Alphys was male for ages. I, I don't, I don't. Uh, hello? Alphys updated stairs. Just realised I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. <laughs> oh, um, oh, I now have two dimensional boxes. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Cute face. Oh dear. <laughs> For fuck's sake. For now, I gotta call the human and guide them. Do I have Alpha's phone? I don't actually have Alpha's phone number in my cell yet. She'll probably phone me right now. Whee! Excuse me! I'm in the middle of a conveyor belt here, Vulcan. What are you doing? Who are you? I shall encourage. You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job, and attacks become extreme. Oh, ah, does my does my best. What is going on here? I, I, I'm so confused. What is happening? Vulcan parades around you proudly. Okay. That worked. 
works quite well, actually. Oh, God. G gonna call them in a minute. Well, hurry up, please. Oh, what is this? Go what is this thing saying? <laughs> we. That was a nice journey. Gonna go, gonna go back down for the for, for, for the for, for the banner. That was worth it, you know. Now let's. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Okay, let's go. Right, let's do this. Ah, as a safe point. Excellent. The, the whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Smashing. Okay, guys. That will be it, that will be it for this episode of Undertale. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, then stay tuned. I keep on going to do my, my old outro and I'm insisting on not doing it. It's quite obnoxious. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, so... I'm looking forward to seeing what's next, because the the game is all the game is all over the place. I, I don't I don't I don't know what's going on anymore. It's it, it's it's quite trippy right now. <laughs> but yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Undertale. Bye bye.